mean, great pasta is one of life's simple luxuries. There is something to be said for making great quality pasta. My name is Brian Cherizzi, and I'm the owner and founder of Eto Pastaficio. Thinking about how I got interested in pasta, I mean, it was one of those things that evolved. I've always been interested in cooking. I mean, pasta is something that anyone can afford and, and cook. And if you learn how to cook it well, it can be amazingly delicious. So the name Eto, it's, it's a really simple word, but the reason I love Eto so much is it, it means 100 grams, which to an American, it's like a quarter pound. But an Eto is about the perfect portion of pasta for dinner. We founded Eto in 2017, you know, and it was very small. We actually made pasta for my kid's school. That was our first customer. I'd had experience with pasta in the past. I mean, I made pasta with my grandmother, and then living and working in Italy, I ate a lot of pasta. Good pasta is not well known in the United States. I think there are some people who will care about better pasta. Building a pasta factory, it's been a challenge because it's a novel idea, but uh, through some friends, introduced me to, to a guy named, named Rob, Rob Emery. He's just been amazing because he has a lot of practical experience working in production, but he also has that really strong food science background from Cal Poly. My name is Rob Emery, and I'm the production manager at Eto. At Eto, we make pasta, but on a broader sense, we want to work with local producers and just use the best quality ingredients possible. We have diligently selected the, the semolina that we use, and we want to educate people that pasta is more than just food. It's kind of a way to get a lot of good nutrition into your diet via whatever's in season. So a lot of those types of things really go hand in hand with, with the pasta that we're making. Our first location making pasta was in Tin City in Paso. And um, it was a little shop, which we still sell our pasta from. And we still even have a, uh, the same machine that we started with there. And we just opened a, a new restaurant called um, Eto Pasta Bar. I met a chef who was very interested in the project and very passionate about Eto Pasta. Had a lot of experience opening restaurants. And uh, when he signed up and we started strategizing, I knew we had something. Paso Robles has been just in incredibly supportive. You know, I think there's something special here in Paso, but the future of Eto, I mean, it's, it's hard to predict exactly. I mean, we definitely want to keep growing because it seems to make people happy. 